Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm the house with the blue door. I set my business up three years ago, just after lockdown, after working for a gardening charity. I was furloughed and then lost my job. In the last three years, I've built up a business around my illustration and typography work. Um, I now have lots of commissions. I'm doing really well in the North East Lincolnshire area and have built up a really good reputation. I'd like to apply for the DYCP because I'm now at a point where I really need to be able to keep myself financially viable doing what I've established doing, but there's also an area that of artwork that I've realised is a bit of a priority for this area and is, there's a bit of a niche that needs to be filled and I think that I can do that. Um, so I'll start by showing you my sketchbook work that I currently do. This is my standard practice and then talk about an exhibition that I put on of work that I would like to, in, of an area that I'd like to move into. My sketchbook work, um, at the minute it's full of quite a few commissions. I primarily use ink and watercolour and like art journaling in my sketchbooks. In the last three years I've filled... 50 of these books averaging around um, one every three to four weeks um, as I've already said this is a part of my practice that is really established um, um, and I started doing this um, a few years ago primarily because I struggle with my mental health and I found art journaling is a really good way to actually help me process difficult thoughts now, this is a selection of some of the illustrations that were used in my Art, Anxiety and Me exhibition. Um, I'd only ever publicly shared a handful of these illustrations. I've been doing them for four, um, three or four years, but they were very private, personal responses to my own um, mental health struggles. But the, the, the few that I had chosen to share were, show, were shown in a small exhibition in Cleethorpes that was seen by Sarah Smith from Grimsby Creates. And it was her idea to put them into the Art, Anxiety and Me exhibition. It felt like a very scary thing to do. It was a massive um, move away from the art that I've been established for in the local area. But we had 3,000 people come to visit the exhibition at, that was held at the Grimsby um, Vision Heritage Centre and the feedback that we got was incredible from, from the guest book. Um, one of the, one of the um, best phrases that we got in terms of feedback was someone who said that the experience of the exhibition was profoundly rewarding and deeply insightful. We definitely need to have more and more conversations about anxiety and mental health in our communities. So the feedback that I got from the exhibition is the reason that I'm applying for this DYCP funding because the funding would enable me to still keep my current commercial practice going but also do some important work in the community and me learning about more about mental health, more about how to support people's mental health and hopefully further down the line in in a few years actually enable me to deliver art and mental health workshops so that other people can benefit from the profound effect that um, art can have on just expressing any mental health issues you've got, helping to process um, is any issues you've got. Um, the funding is really important because it would it means that I would still be able to keep the, my current practice going, but I'd also be able to establish different networks, different um, connections, and create a different community around this work that's completely separate from the current work that I'm doing.